Welcome into our Soda City Living Studio. It looks a little different and that's because we're ready for fall. Joining us again is Summer Rogers, artist and owner of Summer Doodles. Thanks for being with us. Yes, Madeline, I'm so excited to be back and so excited to paint these pumpkins with you today. I am too. Fall is just my favorite time of year and this is such a fun and easy craft that really anyone can do at home. Yes, absolutely. Normally I'm a summertime girl, it is my name, but yeah. I'm ready for fall this year. <laughs> we're gonna have a great day showing you guys how to paint some really easy, simple and cute pumpkins so and I'm so excited. Are, yes there are so many different designs that you can do too we're gonna do some little ghosts we'll do some abstract kind of bright colors it doesn't have to be just spooky that's right <laughs> that's right we're into all the color here all the very aesthetic pumpkins so I'm excited you ready to get to yes, it yes let's get started with awesome. our little small one here okay She's so cute and dainty. Okay, so what do we wanna do here? Okay, so for the first pumpkin, we're gonna do like a light pink. We're gonna add some ghosts on here. Okay. So this is like, this is giving me nursery vibes. Just oh, something yeah. very cute and simple, <laughs> little girly touch. So you can take okay, one of your big, big brushes one. and okay. I'm gonna, yeah, that's how I'm gonna do like the background and I'm gonna do mine all this pretty light pink blush okay. color. I'm gonna do the same. Yes, perfect. <laughs> we love pink. We do love pink here. Oh, and that is just so beautiful on this white. Yes, and for those who don't know, I do wanna talk about summer doodles a little bit. So what do you do day to day? Yes, okay, great question. Day to day is pretty different for me right now. Um, so the basis of what I do, I'm a collegiate pop artist. I travel to all different states and I teach paint classes. Um, so this is just, this is another day in the life with summer doodles. <laughs> yes. This is what I do. Sometimes I'm on the news, sometimes I'm in different states, um, but it's a great job. I have a heart for service. And so this gives me flexibility to meet a ton of people. I mm -hmm. have time to go and serve in person and yeah that's a little glimpse into doodles yes and so pop art is definitely what you do like you said yes. very bright colors um kind of a, a a different take on the typical sec logos is a lot of what yeah. you do and then you do some like scenes around columbia and charleston that i love too um so it's always fun to see what you come up with yes thank you so much <laughs> that's right a huge part of what i do um it, i'm really narrowing in nowadays so that's really exciting my market is really like college girls and their moms and their families mm -hmm. um like you said when i was in school i wanted to make things that were like i was an sec SEC school grad. I went to the University of South Carolina and I didn't want everything to be garnet and black. Right. So I want pink. I want aqua. I want <laughs> yeah. things that are not typical for your SEC schools. So I do lots of collegiate designs and that mm -hmm. led me into doing a lot of work with sororities as well. So yes. it's a great, great place to be in. I'm on the road all the time and I just love it. And so this upcoming like fall and holiday season, what do you have going on? Oh yes, we are busy this uh, holiday season. We've got all kinds of markets in Lexington and Columbia. Um, our biggest event that we put on is the Junior League Holiday Market. So oh, last year was actually my first time and the turnout is incredible. So if you guys don't have anything to do or you need to get some shopping done, I highly recommend going yes. and checking that out. Awesome. Okay, so the background is almost done on this one. Then do we need to wait for it to dry a little bit? Just a little bit, okay. yes. And I'm gonna be sure to get right up close to the stem here. And it's just a fun little extra girly touch. I brought some metallic gold paint. Yes. So if we want to paint the stems, we can always do that as well. Love it. I'm definitely going to do mine gold. Yes, of course. <laughs> and these are so fun because you can just like put them up like if you have like a little apartment or we're going to probably keep them on the desk here. Oh, I love um, that. Yeah, I mean, you can really put them anywhere and you don't have to buy a real pumpkin, although you could certainly use one if you wanted yes. to. Yes. But um, it's just so easy, and I'm sure you could find something like this at maybe Dollar Tree or like Walmart or somewhere yes. like that. So pretty easy for everyone to get their hands on. Absolutely, this is such a fun craft. And honestly, I prefer the fake pumpkins because then you can keep your design. You right. can keep it, you can store it, bring it out next year. Yes. Um, with the real pumpkins, we don't have to worry about anything happening to them. Right. So this is the perfect way to go in my opinion. Yes, easy, I agree. It's affordable super and cute. super fun. Yes. <laughs> I just love the whole fall season. I so look forward to when the leaves start turning colors and falling and driving up to the mountains and getting to see all of that. Yes, absolutely. I have always been a summer girl, but this year, I don't know if I'm maturing. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I am here for all things fall. Oh, like yeah. This. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. Football season, mm -hmm. love cheering on our Gamecocks here. So many things to look forward to in fall, and then the holidays are so much fun. Yes, absolutely. Quality time with family is yes. always my favorite. 
And of course, I love when the weather starts to get a little bit cooler. It's Isn't such that a nice? Release. This Saturday was the first day that I was cold outside. Are you I serious? said, mark the date, I'm cold in Columbia. It's here. Wow. <laughs> and so, like I said, whenever I'm painting, I love for all my colors to coordinate and yeah. match. So our pumpkins, when we're all done today, are gonna coordinate so well. Oh, yes. We're gonna have the best little photos of them. These little eyes are too cute. That, and that is a great tip to Isn't turn this around. That's so easy because I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, how am I going to make a circle with this flat oh, brush? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure y'all got some close-ups on these brushes. That would be really hard. And I'm a, I'm yeah. a seasoned artist, but it's, uh, it's always easier to find little tricks and tips to make yes. it easier on yourself. Mm -hmm. Like these little dots are adorable, but they're teeny tiny. So yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do that with this end, but this, no little, way. this end is just perfect for it. And I am gonna kind of elongate mine. I think okay. that's a really cute little feature on ghosts I've seen lately. So I'm just gonna make mine Oh, so kind taller. of more oval. Yeah, a little okay. more oval oh, I love than, just that. A, than just a dot. Yeah. Just a fun little touch there. I'll leave mine so they're little eyes, maybe. Yep. I, I don't know, I, I might change my mind. I think I'm agreeing with you there. I recently saw on social media where a lady went to Goodwill and bought a painting. It was like a pretty little farm scene. Uh -huh. and she added little ghosts in oh, just I love all over. That trend. I just love the like way that you can turn vintage pieces. Just add a little something and it's a new seasonal piece right. of decor. So cute. Super cute. Yeah, I think the bottom of that is trying. 